And as you probably know, holding the trident at different angles will make it travel different distances. And you can get some serious distance on it. We're gonna find out exactly what that distance is right now. Final science question. How much loot can you get in the new update? Is it worth going the oceans at all? Hey, what's going on guys? Log that zip here. Y'all ever been hit in the face with a trident? Huh! Ooh. Yikes, you okay? Your face looks kind of messed up. <laughs> I was just messing around. No, seriously though. Trident questions. Loot questions. How'd I get all this deliciousness in my inventory, huh? Well, my friends, it all has to do with what we're heading today to do. What? Yeah, don't listen to me. I don't make any sense, okay? But today we're figuring out some Minecraft science questions. Such as how far you can throw a trident in game. How much loot you can get from treasure chests underwater. And speaking of, how long can you breathe underwater before you run out of breath? This is inspired by our last Minecraft science video. Look at the dolphin! He's following me! Oh, there's a loot right there! I mean, by loot, I mean the treasure chest. And look, a little under... Oh, wow, this is the best. Look, he's following me! He's so cute. Anyways, inspired by our previous Minecraft science series, where we figured out such questions as, how many zombies do you need to kill to get to level 100? Or how much farmland can one water block hydrate? In fact, here's a little snippet of it right now. Time to summon in 50 zombies in one single location. I'm gonna attack him. You ready? Boom! Check it out. So many experience. Wow, like a whole lot actually. Wow, <laughs> I didn't even notice there's so many experience balls. Now, if you wanna see the full video of all those theories, you can check the eye in the corner of this video right now. Well, I mean, do it do it after you watch this video first time. So you can find out more about Minecraft. But in today's video, we are covering all update aquatic 1.13 related things. So if you wanna see more questions answered, you wanna leave your own, leave them in the comment section of this video so we can see if we can answer them in another Minecraft science video. Again, if you wanna see another one of those. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, thanks for subscribing. And with that, let's jump in. Do it. All right, so once again, Minecraft Science World by Dragon. If you want to check out this channel, it's also linked in the description. My friends, how far can you throw a trident in Minecraft? That's right, everyone's favorite new weapon, throwable tridents, 1.13 status. We're in the pre-release. This game's pretty much about to hit 1.13. And as you probably know, holding the trident at different angles will make it travel different distances. Y'all didn't realize that? Come on. Well, if I throw it like a little bit right here, you know, it's obviously gonna go a little bit further. If I throw it a little bit higher, the higher up we go, the further it goes. And you can get some serious distance on it. We're gonna find out exactly what that distance is right now. We got a nice command block here. It will center us, you see? Now we're right in the center of this block. Move a little bit, no problem. Hit it again, move a little bit, no problem. Hit it again. Press F3 and look at the same number under facing to see the angle you're throwing at. So, we'll zoom on this on the screen there. But for example, you see these numbers right here? When I move them around, that is going to show us exactly the angle that we're looking at. See how the number goes up and then down and up and down? That's the angle we are checking out. So let me just see what these signs say real quick. Five degrees, 11, oh, so it's telling us all. So we're gonna throw a bunch of these at different angles right now. Let's start with looking at Five degrees. So five degrees. Get a little bit. Yeah, close enough, huh? huh? Perfect. Now let's go to zero degrees. Huh. All right. Now let's go to negative five degrees. And as you can see, shortly, anyways, <laughs> the farther we throw it, depending on the angle, the more block distance we're gonna get. Let's go minus ten. We'll do. Let's go minus twenty. Mm-hmm. And then let's go minus thirty. Close enough. And let's go crazy. Let's go minus 40. <laughs> That's okay, it's not that crazy. Let's do 45, and then we'll do 50, and we'll call it right there. So 50. Ooh, perfect. Well, close enough to perfect. Uh, now we can see exactly where all these things landed. All right, we're here in ghost mode right now, so we don't accidentally pick up any of the tri- Oh, they're disappearing. They're disappearing. Oh, we have to do it again. All right, never mind what I said, because they're just going to keep disappearing. So five degrees, you can throw 11 blocks in length. At zero degrees, 18 blocks, although it looks like it went a little bit farther than 18 on that one, nice. We've got random placement, that must have been the five regular degrees, right? Now at negative 10 degrees, that's a 47 block distance that you're able to throw the trident. This looks like a uh, negative 20 degrees or 15 degrees. Oh, here's negative 20. 71 blocks on the negative 20 degree point. Now right over here is where things get a little bit confusing. At negative 30, you've got 83 blocks, right? At negative 40, you've got 88. You go, look, negative 50, we started to go backwards. 
Negative 50 degrees had, it looks like, about 80 blocks, which means prime throwing distance angle is going to be at negative 40 degrees. If you start to throw it a little bit further than that, you'll actually start to cost yourself distance instead, because then it's, it's more of a vertical arc instead of more of one that goes, you know, all the way this way. So if you're looking for distance on your trident, throw it at a maximum of negative 40 degrees and that is how you're gonna get that prime range hitting those mobs from far away right well in conclusion you can throw a trident over 80 blocks if you hold it back for yeah, yeah i already said that but what do we raise the height by 50. i just got spit all over me so that's bad okay so here we are at the top now 50 blocks higher up let's see all the different you see all the little gold blocks those are like the different meters let's try and throw it at negative 40 degrees once again right over here so line it up close as we possibly can and oh perfect Whoa! all right let's see where it lands oh you can still see it falling down there not bad okay so this is I, there's no visual indicator of all the there we go check that out huh not bad now about 115 blocks huh way further than anything we were doing over here i think the maximum over here yeah like i said it's 88 blocks so Height dependent, you'll go even further when you're throwing these guys. Now, one fun fact about that 115 blocks we just threw it, it's just nearby the instant despawn range for hostile mobs, which means in theory, you could hit a mob from the moment it appears in your Minecraft game right up until the moment it's about to disappear. So you got serious range on that. Hey, science. <laughs> Next up, we're going to set our spawn point, I guess, huh? Now, number two here, how long can you breathe underwater? Well, you're going to be doing a lot of underwater exploration in the latest 1.13 update, so, you know, it makes sense. Good question to ask. Now, don't mind if I, I'm going to just go ahead and start drowning myself. We've got a <laughs> bad thing to say. Anyways, we've got a little meter on the right here that's going to keep track of how long we can spend underwater before we completely run out of breath, a.k.a. we die in game. So, we've got a pretty sizable amount of time right now. It's not exact, oh, no, it looks like it's about seconds. Seconds underwater. Water. Okay, that's good. Slowly but surely. I'm curious what we're gonna make. Maybe we'll get to 30? Come on. Oh, it's so close. Come on! Get to 30! Ah, just barely. Okay, so about 28 seconds underwater. Hey, I, I click set what gives. You're filled with lies and deceit. Spawn point indeed. Didn't do anything for me. So 28 seconds without any sort of aid whatsoever. Yeah, that lasts about 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all again. But let's try again with some enchanted helmets. We've got respiration three, which is the max respiration level on our diamond helmet. And an advancement made. Cover me with diamonds. That's right. So we're going to go ahead and fall right down here. And we're going to skip a grand majority of this so you guys understand. But as you can see, with the respiration helmets, we're not losing any of our underwater. And get out of my way, you stupid achievement. Getting in the way of everything. Check it out. Look. Ah, it's still in the way. See, look. Barely moving. The Respiration 3 helmet doing so much good for us. We're already way past the original time there. With breath to spare. Now, where is that mob? I hear someone. He's angry. And we're about to lose our last bubble. Now, I don't know. Will we start taking damage, like, instantly, too? No. You even take damage slower. Even though we're completely out of bubbles, the hearts are not getting taken from us as fast. So, we'll catch up in a sec. A few moments later. All right. We just broke 100 seconds. And goodbye, my friends. 115 seconds completely submerged in water. That is a big set of lungs you got there. But a question, my friends. Are turtle helmets any better? The brand new turtle shell helmets that you can get from combining scutes in-game, which is like little turtle something or I don't really know, to be honest with you. Well, let's find out, huh? We're going to take this off and put our turtle shell on. And down we go. The cool thing about the turtle shell helmet, the turtle shell helmet there, is you get 10 seconds of water breathing before anything else happens underwater. And the moment you resurface, you get that water breathing effect back. But there's no respiration on this helmet. So even though we've got that, our bubbles are already sinking. Similar to yours truly. I like that zip. So it doesn't necessarily look like this one's going to be nearly as effective as a respiration helmet. What's our time? Ooh, only like 10 seconds more than... <laughs> I guess that makes perfect sense because we got 10 extra seconds of water. Oh, Tyler, you can math. Looks like a couple of our fish friends ran out of breath too. I don't want to touch that. Gross. It's been sitting. Conclusion. 40 seconds respiration. So respiration three helmets are better than turtle shells, but an enchanted turtle shell lasts even longer. So one final test. Put on our great turtle shell helmet. Right, that's beautiful, huh? 
Down we go, into the depths. We'll be back in a little bit. Now my guess is gonna be like 125, since the only difference between these helmets is the fact that the turtle shell helmet gives you 10 seconds extra water breathing, but we'll find out soon. We're about to run out of breath. Okay, and we just passed the Respiration 3 helmet, and as I guessed, right around 10 seconds longer. Look at that. Over two minutes completely submerged underwater without needing any additional potions of water breathing, etc, etc, etc. That's impressive. However, what if we had an inventory filled with water breathing potions? <laughs> Don't test this. We can figure out. Yeah, exactly. We're not going to go through this entire set. Trust me, that'd take way too long. But it does, in fact, add eight extra minutes to every single inventory space that you decide to add potions to on your you know, inventory. Yeah. The player can carry 37 potions in the inventory offhand, included using eight minute water. Water potions is 296 minutes. That is almost five hours right there. Add the helmet and it will take 298 minutes to drown. Oh, that's almost five hours. Well, I'm glad we're on the same page, Xavier. Now, naturally, if you've got conduits, bubble columns, dolphins nearby to give you dolphin's grace effect, you could, in theory, last underwater forever, but it's not practical when taking on the ocean. Neither is carrying all those potions. You could, in fact, bring a shulker, bro them, yeah, sorry. shulker box filled with potions so that you don't have to bring all of those, but, you know, there's lots of ways to stay prepared. If you want to really go exploring for a long time underwater, just bring eight water potions. It's going to give you about an hour of underwater breathing without having to worry about a thing. Now, final science question. How much loot can you get in the new update? Is it worth going in the oceans at all? You know, there's buried treasure, shipwrecks, lots of different ways to find actual treasure in the oceans now. But is it really worth your time? Well, the first type of treasure is the shipwreck map. We're going to find out together. What can you find from 10 of these? We're going to break these chests to find out. Check it out. Boom, boom, boom. 10 different chests. They all contain great treasures. <laughs> Paper and feathers. Yeah. Treasure? Really? That? No. But we're going to break them nonetheless. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. Not bad. So we got 38 feathers, 11 empty maps, or you can turn into your own maps, 60, no, sorry, about 70 pieces of paper, 15 books, and two clocks. It's awful. Who would, why? What am I writing, a memoir or something? The life and times of not finding anything good in the oceans <laughs> by Log.Zip. Okay, well, we got a different chest instead. Ten buried treasure chests. You know those ones where you can get them from the you know, X marks the spot? Well, here's ten of them right in front of us. We don't have to do any searching at all. Who would want to do that right? Break them, boys! Down we go! Wow, the inventory is stacking up! Woo, baby, check it out! We got a whole bunch of goodies. Three iron swords, four leather tunics, stack and a half of iron, 11 hearts of the sea, you use those to make the conduits if you weren't aware. 19 TNT, 20 fish, 10 diamonds, 50 emeralds, whole bunch of glod, prismarine, and cooked slamming. That's a good haul. Let's just do 10 more for good measure, you know, you know what I mean? Because it might be it might be super different this time. No, it's about, you know, 50 emeralds, 10 diamonds, about a stack and some change. Right, okay, so it's roughly the same, huh? That's not bad. I like TNT. I like hearts of the sea. I like things that rhyme together. It makes it fun. Subscribe. That didn't work anyways. Let's just move on, huh? We've got 10 shipwreck supply chests. These are slightly different. You can find these in shipwrecks when you explore the oceans. Are there, in fact, are there any around here? Some uh, shipwrecks? Anyway, is that, is that, a sh is that a shipwreck? Nah, it's just water. Oh, it is. There's a shipwreck right here. Nice. Okay, just for fun, huh? Let's see what's in this guy. Ooh, it is dark, baby. Scary, huh? Can we? Well, there's the chest. Your compass. It's uh, stupid. Where's this? What's this? What's in the second one? There's another chest in here somewhere. Can't hardly see anything. Oh, nice. Whoa. Oh, I thought there was boots in here. Curse of binding on those leather pants. Whoa, I wouldn't be caught dead in those. Not fashionable. Anywho, let's just break these ones out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, did I? Is that? Is that hold on, hold on. Okay, this one's got eleven. Do they? Do they all have eleven? Okay, so they all have eleven, not ten. But who cares? Whatever. This is what it looks like to get eleven of them. We've got lots of leather. L eleven leather. Eleven. Eleven. Elvin. Elvin. We got elven armor here. That's great. Three pumpkins. 20 patats, 40 poisonous patats. I mean, that makes sense. They're underwater. Probably waterlogged gross. 25 wheat, a couple TNT, not nearly as many as in the actual, like, ultimate reward chest, right? 50 rotten flesh, a lot of wheat, though, a lot of paper, coal, 
gunpowder. I get it, supply chest, right? It don't make sense. You got a lot of junk in there. You got some decent stuff here and there. It's only gonna get better from here though, baby. Check it out. 10 shipwreck treasure chests. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And by 10, I mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. 11 of them. That's okay. We're gonna break it down, get all our goodies. Ooh, this one looks way better than the rest so far. Y'all ready? Check it out. Oh, yeah, a whole bunch of nuggets, too. I'm gonna turn these into bars. They're ingots, whatever. Look at that. Much better looking. So, our grand total then almost two stacks of iron, 40 lapis, 60 emeralds, two diamonds, bottle enchanting, four gold ingots. Crafting, well, I gave myself that. And then a couple nuggets here and there. So it looks like, interestingly enough, the shipwreck treasure chests give you more emeralds, but less diamonds. Whole lot more iron, but less gold when we compare it to the second set over here. Oh, I missed my mark. Nice. Compared to buried treasure. So buried treasure, much better for diamonds and gold. Shipwreck treasure, much better for emeralds and iron. And finally, we've got underwater ruins areas. These are like the underwater villages that you can find in game. Now, nah, can we, we can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They all have 11, we're gonna go with they all have 11, okay. Break the big ones. Wow, we got a mess of supplies in here, huh? Ooh, and three books. So in the ruins, you can get books. Fire aspect, curse of vanishing, pointless. Respiration, you yeah, will take it. Stack and change of some coal, gold, Empty maps, wheat, gold nuggets, a single leather tunic. Not bad. Let's see what we get from the small villages. Though once again, probably gonna be 11 there. You know the details, okay? It all works out nicely. Ooh, this is a different story. A lot of tools. We've got lore three, lore one, luck of the sea, lore one. Another cursed vanishing. Coal, rotten flesh, some axes, some leather pieces, maps, and some wheat. So. Pretty stark difference in what you can get from all the different chests. But nonetheless, I would say worth exploring. You know, there was nothing there before. But my friends, that's going to do it for today's episode of Minecraft Science, or whatever we're going to end up calling this series. If you want to see more weird questions or theories answered within Minecraft, let us know by commenting that you want to see another episode of this stuff. If you enjoyed today's video, why not leave a like on it? Of course, subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of every single Minecraft video right as it comes out. And a big shout out to Xavier Hotz and Dragon014 for helping us come up with these theories and questions that needed to be asked. I mean, seriously, who didn't want to know how much loot you could get? from these chests. Either way, my friends, hope you have a great day, and we will see you for the next episode.